Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth where I tend to use fuck as a comma. If you're not into that or weird shit in general, bitch, this is not the place for you. Feel free to access the video here. No harm, no foul, but I will remember our time fondly. If you want to jump straight to the overall review of the products, I'll leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. So today is kind of interesting, and by interesting I mean weird. <laughs> Much like every fucking day of my life, but whatever, I'm used to it by now. So I decided to take a walk today because I'm in the process of testing a new foundation that I'm trying out. Technically the foundation is not new, but I actually just picked up, let me see, do I have it right here in front of me? Do I? Do I? Do I? I don't know where the fuck it is. Anyway, it's the Too Faced Peach Perfect or Too Faced, am I saying Pitch Perfect? The Too Faced one, <laughs> the Hydrating Peach Foundation. What the fuck is it called? Where is it? Can I just like grab it? Where, where are you, bitch? <laughs> but, uh, you know, if I just got up, I probably could find it. Whatever, fuck it. What is it called? What the fuck did I just buy? <sighs> Motherfucker. Because it was on sale the other day at Ulta for half off, I actually picked up the Too Faced Tutti Frutti Do You Fresh Glow Foundation. So I've actually been kind of playing around with this foundation for the past few days, but I haven't really left my apartment. So I figured, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna go venture into the real world today and see what's up and test out this motherfucking foundation. So there's a park very close to where I live. So I figured, whatever, it's early, no one's gonna be around. Let me go check out the park. And I'm glad that I did. <laughs> so I go to the park, there's a few people in there exercising walking around whatever mostly old people it's adorable so I decided to plant my fat ass down on a park bench and just contemplate what's wrong in my life a couple of minutes passes by and a woman comes into the park probably around my age maybe a little bit younger so where I'm sitting there's like a row of park benches right so say like there's six I am the second one this lady would be at the fifth one so there are two park benches between us and so I'm kind of paying no mind whatever dicking around on my phone playing Candy Crush the usual when I noticed that this lady is just kind of sitting there but then I I noticed that she had also a tote bag with her and the tote bag was resting by her feet. So she picked up the tote bag, she put it on the bench and then she took out this large fucking bag of white rice, like grains of white rice. You know like that comically large bag that you see at Costco that's probably like 50 pounds? Like it was like that, it was very fucking big. So she sits it next to her and she's just kind of like looking at the bag and now birds are coming near her. So I'm like, this is strange. She then takes handfuls of rice and start pelting it at the fucking pigeons in the park. And so that of course catches my attention and I just look at her and just go, yes. What are you doing? I'm trying to make them explode. <laughs> I think that's a myth. We'll see. Okay. I was like, all right, well, you have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs> fucking crazy person. So I just, I got up and I just quickly exited the fucking park. And then of course, as I turned back, she was just pelting rice. It actually looked like she was trying to throw rice at me. So that was fucking great. Um, yeah, anyway, to think that I thought my neighborhood was fucking normal. I guess not. It only took me about two months to start realizing that there's fucking crazies here. I'm so excited. In any case, that was my Sunday morning. How was yours? On today's video, we have an unboxing for you bitches. Ipsy Glam Bag Plus versus BoxyCharm. But before I give you my overall thoughts and everything, let me show you what I received in my boxes. BoxyCharm. Becca Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. This weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth invisible finish. Formulated with 50% water and glycerin, this powder creates a mist-like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish and comfortable feel. Retail value $39. Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. This multitasking beauty elixir instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin revealing a bouncy youthful complexion. No matter what skin type you have, this lightweight powerful formula nourishes and primes the skin and helps to restore skin's moisture barrier with providing a youthful glow. The spill-proof dropper allows you to use one drop at a time. Retail value $42. Tarte Big Ego Mascara, an ultra black vegan mascara that lifts your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter for up to 16 hours. Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadow Duo, highly pigmented soft shadows with a creamy texture specifically designed for the ultimate color payoff. These shadows provide bold color in one swipe without fallout, creasing or fading. Retail value $25. Steve Laurent Lip Liner, reshape, resize, and redefine your pout. This lip pencil is 
magic. It smooths over your lip line for a seamless and flawless finish. Completely waterproof, so no transferring or bleeding all day long. Lasts up to seven hours. Retail value, $15. So let's start with BoxyCharm. The one thing that I'm not gonna be able to talk about is the Big Ego Mascara because I use the Thrive Mascara instead, so I cannot speak about this, but I will update you guys how I feel about this once I do use it, so bye. All right, so let's start with the Becca thingy majiggy. Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. I don't know how I feel about this. This is fucking weird. Component wise, it's beautiful. It's really cool. The powder is very, very lightweight. You get about 0.35 ounces. It definitely has a lovely kind of silky wet feel to it. It's actually kind of a nice cooling effect. And I actually use this powder to set my face. When I put my giant powder brush into it and then I started to kind of like pat it on my face ever so gently, it actually started moving the foundation around my skin. Like see for example over here, kind of like drag the foundation a little bit. You can see kind of little foundation marks. It also kind of has like some weird buildup around my nose. And I kind of mentioned this because when I was playing with the Too Faced foundation the other day, I didn't experience any of these problems. So this is like the only thing that I added technically into my makeup routine today. I, I'm not really a big fan of it. With that being said, I want to play around with it again, but I want to use it with say CC cream or like a lighter coverage foundation or perhaps waiting maybe five or six hours and then kind of lightly powdering my face to see how that looks. But as of right now, not a big fan, but I do have to say though that I really like the texture of it. It's very, very smooth. I really do love the component of it. And then it kind of reminds me of one of those like little sifter things that archaeologists use, and I kind of like that about the, the powder. I know it's stupid, but I was like, Ooh, that's kind of fun. I feel like Indiana Jones. Anyway, first impressions wise, not a big fan of it, but I am interested to see how it continues to be once I kind of try it with different things. But right off the bat, it's a no-go for me, kid. Nope. So the next product is from Wander Beauty and it is the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I had no issues with this. I thought this was really pretty. I moisturized my face. I did a couple of drops all around my face, massaged it into my skin. My skin didn't feel overly oily. It was just like nicely hydrated, which actually made the foundation kind of go on smoother. So I like that. So I'm actually gonna start kind of introducing this a little bit more into my normal routines, but so far so good. I enjoyed this. I like this a lot. The next thing is the Steve Laurent Lip Pencil. No, it's, I actually almost laughed when I read the description because it was like smooths over your lip. This was hard as fuck. <laughs> This really, really hurt around my mouth. Not a fan of this. The color is very beautiful though, and I'm, I'm wearing this actually over another lipstick that I actually got in a BoxyCharm. Was it Christoph, Christopher? something or other. I don't know. He sells his shit on QVC. It's a really wonderful lipstick and I felt like it was a really good match, but I just don't like the whole application of it. But maybe this is one that yeah, I guess maybe I should have put, probably put it on the back of my hand and warmed it up a little bit and then tried it again. No, it hurts. <laughs> it still fucking hurts. And I don't think I'm ever really going to pick this up again, which is a shame because I like the color, but execution wise, not my cup of tea. Bye, bitch. And the only other thing that we could talk about are these Ace Beauté, Beaut, whatever the fuck you want to be called, shadows. So for today's look on this side, I actually use the pink one called Cotton Candy as the base. And then I popped a little bit of the ice latte in the middle. Pretty, I like it. So in the crease is actually from the Huda Beauty palette because like I needed a little bit of a transition color into the look. Overall, I think it's actually very pretty. However, when I first saw this in my box, I was like, oh, ColourPop, cool. And then I was like, oh, okay. They look identical to ColourPop. The only thing that's different is that there are like a fucking millennial pink component. They feel a lot like ColourPop, but I would say probably ColourPop is maybe a little bit smoother. These are a little bit harder. When applied to like a dry lid, they look really nice, but I actually like it a little bit more when you use a little bit of a setting spray. However, when I was applying it with a finger for swatches, it looked fantastic. So I think these are two shadows that I'm always gonna have to use my grubby little disgusting hands when applying. So, I mean, whatever, not the end of the world. I like them a lot. They're very comfortable. It feels very weighty list on my lid. I actually didn't even realize they had these glimmer shadows. I don't know if this is super new or I just maybe I just never paid attention to it, but I really like these. So, and I think that's pretty much it when it comes to BoxyCharm. Yeah, so I can't talk about the tart thing. Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Thrive Cosmetic Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara in Bren. A single swipe of this volumizing lengthening mascara can help make sparse lashes look like extensions. The innovative cone-shaped wand defines, separates, and helps prevent clumping. Featuring an orchid stem cell complex, this formula stimulates lash growth. 
Retail value, $24. Farrah Brushes Five Piece Eye Perfection Set. When beauty lovers create products, you know it's gonna be good. This five piece eyeshadow set is designed to seamlessly shade and blend with professional level quality. Completely vegan and cruelty free, each brush can be used with both creams and powders. Retail value, $48. Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Coral. Huda Beauty is a female founded company launched by makeup artist and beauty influencer Huda Katan. Loaded with nine warm shadows, this mirrored compact is a perfect mix of coral mattes and shimmers that are pigmented, blendable, and so creamy. Retail value, $27. Smith & Colt Nail Lacquer and Pillow Pie. Stuck in a beauty rut? This powder pink polish is the stuff of dreams. Super shiny, chip resistant, and eight free, aka no harmful chemicals. Plus it's cruelty, paraben, and phthalate free. This unique handle was designed to look rough, yet refined, kind of like real life. Retail value, $18. Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. Infused with dead sea water, this mineral rich mask helps brighten and hydrate your skin while drawing out impurities. Does your sun parched skin need a little extra TLC? This rich formula also works overnight to rehydrate skin. Retail value, $33. So let's talk about Ipsy. I am not gonna be able to talk about the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. Can I be honest? I have gotten this fucking thing about 75 fucking times and I have never used one ounce of this product ever. So actually, if anyone has used this, please let me know how this works for you. But I don't know, something about it just never really made me kind of want to try it. Well, this is the 50th fucking time you received it, so you might as well use it. So I'm gonna definitely try it and I'll let you know in a pinned comment down below how I think about it, but right now I cannot Fuck, I cannot fucking talk about it. And the other thing I won't be talking about is this, which is Little Smith & Colton nail polish. And I think actually I bought this for my mom one year for Christmas, because my mom loves baby pink. And I think I actually got it in Pillow Pie. This is really not my color. It's very pretty, but it's just not me. I'm just a grungy old bitch. So I'm gonna give this to my mom. I know she'll appreciate it and I'll get a good home. So mom, if you're watching, you're getting this. So surprise, bitch. Enjoy. Love you, I miss you. All right, so let's talk about the other things in this box. So Thrive Cosmetics, I actually bought a mascara from them. I wanna say like maybe two months ago and I haven't used it yet because I have so many open mascaras that I'm kind of just cycling through. So when I received this in my box, I was like, yeah, fuck it, let me let me just try this because now I'm kind of cycling out of certain mascaras and I totally forgot that I actually purchased this because you know, I'm a makeup hoarder. So I was like, oh, you know what? This is my time to try it. This is fantastic. I was so fucking surprised about it. The first time I actually heard about this mascara was from a coworker of mine who swears by it and all she ever wears is actually mascara and her lashes look super fucking defined. And every time I have to talk to her and listen to her drone the fuck on, all I do is stare at her eyes because at least her eyelashes keep my interest. So I have been meaning to try this. I've been trying it for about two days now. Fucking love it. It lasts for a very long time. There is no issue of flaking. There's no issue of transferring. I think this works very well as a lower lash line as well as a top lash line since I have small delicate eyes. I usually have a lot of issues with lower lash line mascaras. Technically I have to buy like the smaller ones because you know my face is fat but my eyes are small. I was able to use it for the lower lash line and it looks really beautiful. I love how my lashes look defined. As somebody who doesn't wear false lashes I think this is really pretty. The only thing I will say though is that I think I probably need at least a couple more coats to just like really make them kind of stand up on their own. But this is kind of like after one coat. And I really don't like to layer on mascara too much because I find that it usually flakes the shit out of me. But this one doesn't. So I want to try this again tomorrow and then try to put a couple more coats to try to build it up to kind of replicate what this bitch looks like right here. Cause I mean, right now I feel like I'm not selling it. And while I was recording two videos yesterday, both which I was getting pretty fucking drunk, I really, really enjoyed how my eyelashes looked at the end of the night. So I will say it's like, while it's definitely not the one that kind of like, you know, completely like has its dick standing up, it definitely lasts for very long time. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means. So yeah, so I'm really excited to kind of continue to keep trying this. I'm happy that I've received this in my Ipsy box. So the next thing are these Farrah eyeshadow brushes. I actually used each brush today for my eye looks with the exception of like maybe another brush that I had to use from Luxie, like as a lower lash line one. But these are fantastic. So they kind of feel a little cheap. They are very, very light. They almost look like they should be weighted, but they're not. And I think when I first held them in my hand, I was like, oh, no, I'm not gonna like this. But the bristles are so soft and they actually blend out eyeshadow so easily. It impressed me, it impressed me so much that I'm actually interested in getting more brushes from this company. Like that's the kind of level I'm at. It's so fucking good. The only thing I will say though, is that these brushes I feel like tend to be for people that do not have my eye shape. So being that I have very small eyes, like I keep mentioning every fucking time because everything else is big on me. I want to mention something that's small on me. Cause I, you know, obviously have issues. These I felt like were just a little bit too big. 
And if they were like a touch smaller, I feel like they would be so fucking perfect. So yeah, so I really like these brushes. So I look forward to purchasing more of their brushes because they're pretty fucking good quality. And last but not least, so let's talk about the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. This palette fucking sucks. It's fucking disgusting. I fucking hate it. I don't want it in my fucking collection and I'm gonna fucking get rid of it. It can go fuck itself. Fuck this fucking palette. The reason why I'm so fucking upset about this is because this palette is so gross. <laughs> Fuck this fucking palette, bitch. I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. And what made it worse is that one, the only shade that I actually like in the whole palette is probably these two shades here. The two fucking most basic brown shades ever. Everything else kind of either blends in together, either looks exactly the same, or causes me some slight eye irritation. So for example, this dark kind of brown color here, as soon as I put it on the outer corner, I started to tear up immediately. And then it started fading out the whole outer corner of my eyelid. And then when I was blending, my eyeshadow, it looked like I had nothing on my face. So I had to constantly keep reapplying. These shadows, while there is little to no fallout and little to no kick up, they disappear off your fucking face. You have to keep going back and back and back and back and back and back to get any sort of fucking pigment there. And then when you do, about 30 seconds later, it's fucking gone from your face. So fuck that shit. No, I ain't having that. These things are so hit or fucking miss. And this reminded me of like the first iteration of this, I think is like the warm tone palette, which kind of almost looks identical to that palette, except for this yellow here. This yellow is a fucking disgrace. Like I had to build up this yellow and it looks so fucking faded. I haven't had this makeup on for that fucking long. I mean, come on. Like really? Like it's completely fucking lifted there. I can assure you that I have many different colors on my eyes. However, they all blend in and they look exactly the fucking same. And I don't understand how that works. But what is the biggest killer though is whatever's in this eyeshadow literally is murdering my fucking face. The only two shadows that I didn't try in this whole thing are the two shimmer shadows. And I do want to show you kind of a comparison to the Ace Beauté one because it looks a little similar, I would say, but it's actually not quite. It's very different. And I'd rather use that Ace Beauté one all day, every day, and chuck this in a fucking fire because this shit fucking sucks. However, if you do like this palette, good for you, but for me, this is hot shit. So it can go fuck itself. I will never fucking use that palette ever again. No. Which box do I think is worth it? I guess it's a fucking tie because they're both two products in each box that I really like and then the rest of it is kind of like, mm, I guess that's, that's it. All right, so let me know down below if you received either box and if you got this box or you got a different variation because I'd love to know. So with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that fucking subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord. On Thursdays, we have a podcast called The Miserable Three, which should be back hopefully this week. And sometimes I take over my husband's Twitch channel where I just yell about things while playing Paperboy and Barbie Supermodel. So if you're into that, come feel free to watch me be a fucking mess on the internet and I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.